Who have events where you would drink with the teachers? All the, the time! Kids. What?! Yeah. Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of British vs. American. Today we're gonna to be talking about some university stuff, accommodation, and other saucy stuff. Ooh. Where did you go to university, Sally? I went to university at Oxford, Evan. Oh! Wow! And what about you? Boo! Hey! <laughs> I went to UCL. Is that University College London? That's University College London. And I went to Rowan no University. No one asked you, Evan. I know. The thing I wanted to talk about, which I thought was quite interesting, is I don't really know the difference of how accommodation works within the UK. Because in the US, you know, you have the choice of living on campus and, you know, all that fun lifestyle or living off campus. There's pros and cons. But do you guys have a campus that you live on? Kind? It depends on the university. At every university except three in the country. <laughs> <laughs> which is Oxford being one of them. Oxford, Cambridge, and Durham, which wants to be Oxbridge. Oh. Oh yes, I heard from my friend uh, Jack. He was telling me about what that. Comes every, from the so for hall. every university has mm -hmm. a has residence mm -hmm. hall. And you're recommended to stay there first year for freshers, like same with US. Basically no one but fresher stays in halls. No, not oh. for us. Oh. Oh. oh okay. What's this? So I'm gonna say that normally people get really annoyed when they're like, but actually at Oxford, or oh my god, I went to Oxford, or did I tell you I was at Oxford? Uh, that sounds annoying. This is the purpose of this video. Okay, yeah. Um, <laughs> so at Oxford, we have colleges. So you apply to a college, and if a college accepts you, then you are a member of the university. So you but don't even means, apply to Oxford? No, apply I applied to St. Whoa. John's College. Right, and that's it. And so if I get rejected by my college, either a different college can accept me or I'm rejected full stop. Oh. Subjects are usually taught at the department level, mm -hmm. but accommodation, accommodation and tutoring is sorted at the college level. Okay. But then the actual degree is sorted at the university level. This is what happens when you have a university that's, so that's a thousand years old. Yeah, that sounds like... Wait, so That's, so you so you so get so you get in based on which college wants you, but they don't even no. teach you. So yeah, so my <laughs> lectures were done by the department, but my tutorials were organised through my college tutor. So each oh. college each college has say two tutors per subject. So I had two biology tutors in my college, but most tutors of my... are just people that help you. No, tutors oh. is a very specific Oh, thing tutors are specific reading. and yeah, tutors are like... Oxford tutorials are, they set you a reading list and an essay title, you write an essay and then you talk about it for an hour or two. Oh, uh, that's not a I tutor. I'm used to, I need help, I go to one of my school's tutors. <laughs> tutors for us are just people of the faculty that you meet with every now and then. Yeah. I, so those I, are lecturers. No, but lecturers. But lecturers. Do the lecture. Oh. Who does the lecturers? Lecturers. But then, then who does the tutoring? Both the lectures and the fellows uh, and postgrads and anyone you ask, really. That's so anyone talking, that helps you. But we're talking about accommodation, though, because I did my three-year undergraduate there and my five-year PhD there. I managed to spend all eight years in student accommodation. Is that a Does, good thing? So, we, well, considering the cost of accommodation in Oxford, it means that I didn't have to go on the private market. Oxford is the least affordable city in the UK eight years running. Wait, more than London? Relative to income, more than London. Oh, London has higher students. income. Yeah. So the house prices are about the same. But, but you, student you accommodation is cheap though. But you, so, mm, no. so college accommodation oh. is subsidised. Okay. Ridiculous. How much does accommodation cost per year? Or per semester? We call them terms. Michaelmas, Hillary, and Trinity. And you have names for your... You, wait, 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 name wait, the terms? Wait, 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 Michaelmas is a type of Christmas. What do you mean what? a type of Christmas? What, there's only one well, type it, of Christmas. It's Saint, Christmas. It's St. Michael's Mass. Am this I is... learning about Christianity? <laughs> this is like a whole other community I didn't inside know any of Christmas that. that I've never she heard of She just like casually says, oh, the terms? Uh, <laughs> Michaelmas. Don't, know, Michaelmas don't you Hillary know Michaelmas, guys? Trinity. Yeah. Trinity means three, so it's the third term. That makes sense. And Michaelmas is okay, number one. I don't know why Hillary's called Hillary. This sounds like weird Because she was number two in the election. Our terms are only eight weeks long. Okay. Oh, wait, That's so, so you don't even need accommodation. Two months, one. Two months each. Two months each. So we are at university for six months of the year. How nice. do you learn? It's so intense. Self-study? You spend like the ne the four weeks after each holiday, after each time just sleeping. So out of curiosity, how much does your accommodation cost? <laughs> oh gosh. I feel like I, Mine, I still it's, don't know. It's roughly in the area of 500 to 550 pounds a month. Oh, oh, that's so cheap. Oh, but you're only there for six months, so it's about three grand a year. Depending on the college, yes. Okay. So that gives you a room. 
Yeah. A, a small, is it a single? Yes. Everything is a single bed. Is it, is it, is it like, so uh, is you a, get food? Is it? So, no. So, it's a... What? So, what? So, it's a room. Catered or uncatered. You get a kitchen in most of them, but not all of them. You get a kitchen? Not your own. Oh. You get access kitchens. to a shared kitchen. But a lot of the accommodation doesn't oh, have access to a shared I, kitchen. I, in my so university, never had a kitchen. So, you don't. They give you a kettle and a toaster. That's all you need. Beans on toast and some it. tea. Come on. But how do you eat? So it's we also so food. each yeah. college has um, canteen, mess hall, halls. Yeah, it's yeah, it's like a canteen. canteen. So <laughs> if I was only to eat in hall, which no one does, mm. breakfast is a full English breakfast is mm. about two quid with unlimited toast and tea and coffee. A full cooked lunch is maybe, this is wow. really subsidised, a full cooked lunch is about £2.20. Informal hall, which is main course and dessert, was £3.10. And in and formal hall, we were by far the cheapest of any of the colleges for our formal hall, which is catered, first course, main course and dessert was £3.70. What's formal? Did you have to dress so up? So formal you had to, so it depends on the college, we had to wear our gowns, we had to go into hall, and, and obviously by hall, imagine the Great Hall in Harry Potter, it was literally filmed in Christchurch's Lunch. You can have either catered or uncatered. Uncatered means you get your own kitchen, you have to cook. Yeah. yeah. And you can have catered where they give you food. But my place. So when only... you choose catered and then that's it. You pay f up. So I so I paid two hundred and ten a week mm. for catered, but they only gave you breakfast and dinner, like an evening meal. Okay. So but... if you didn't have that meal, you'd still be paying for it. Yeah, yeah. But they also gave us this they gave us this tiny kitchen, like about the size of one of the rooms for about, like kitchen. No. No, oh. it's a, no, the room is a, the room is a, the room is a bed and a desk. Yeah, it might be shared like between twelve people. Half the size of your room. So the way ours worked was every university student that's a freshman has to stay on campus at mine uni. Like, so you couldn't live off campus. Mm -hmm. You had to be in the accommodation. Mm -hmm. The cheapest you had to be in like the cheapest halls because some of the halls did have a kitchen. Yeah. But those are for the seniors and the juniors. Oh, so it's a freshers never get a kitchen. Freshers are not allowed a kitchen, and that encourages them to spend time in the student union where they have to eat. There's meal plans or pay as you go. The meal plan that I got was 14 meals a week, so that basically meant I was binge eating big breakfasts and big dinners. It's an all you can eat. Like so the same as us, thing. yeah. No, yeah, it was, it was, no, it was a robo, it's like a Rowan card, you just tap in, and they know that you've had your meal for that but week. But it's, it's all you can eat, and they had like, burgers and fries, they also had sushi, a home-cooked meal, they had salad, they had ice cream, they had waffles, they had paint every night, every morning, everything. This was set up, kind of, do you want to go to a hotel, and you've got the, you've got the breakfast. Yeah, yeah the Continental. Yeah, so yeah. It, it was set up like that, so we, so we had our trays, the first time, the first time we all went there, we get our trays, we take our food, we go back up for seconds, and they're like, what are you doing? Really? You are allowed to have one portion of everything. Oh. And that's it. So for us, we specified exactly what we wanted. Can I have two sausages? Can I have three rashes of bacon? And then you take it to the till and they no, talk. They're not allowed to. They, they give us a certain amount. That's it. And that's it. And every vegetarian meal was, was mushroom. Just mushroom something. That's not even a vegetable. It's not. Everything was just a mushroom something, and it was goat's cheese and roast vegetables for us. All the vegetables. Oh. Did you ever have to share a room? Because it's no. almost not possible in America to have a freshman room and not share it with either one other or two other people in a I single. I don't you think can... a single room at Oxford is shared. So you can share. Really? What? That's so nice. Every because... single room has a single bed. Trying to find a room with a double bed, like you have. No, there's no double beds. No, you just have two like single two beds. Two singles. No, you, no, you, they're, they're no. Or three bunk no, beds. No, no. I've seen a room. Three. I've genuinely, because I was an RA, I genuinely saw rooms that had two bunk beds with four people in a room this size. Oh so my in my hall, you have had, no room and no privacy. We had like people that had that shared a room. They were like way bigger, mm -hmm. but obviously like. You you have no privacy because you can't you don't have a kitchen and you don't, you don't know have who a they bathroom. are beforehand either. You've just got, yeah, exactly. You just meet a stranger that no, you've now got to live with. Does not exist in Oxford. You can pay for Whereas... couples accommodation, which is like if you're married. No, <laughs> no, no, no. This isn't. This is like two strangers no, yeah, living together that does in a room yeah. this size, or three or four strangers. But you pay less the more people that like it's not their fault. They're like, sorry, there was too many people that yeah. applied this year, so mm -hmm. now you're stuck with three people. But then instead of paying ten grand. A, a year for to it for the accommodation. You only pay about eight. That doesn't. See, it wouldn't go. It doesn't even go down that much less for us. Uh, that's that's in London, which is strange. Whereas yes. in other places, so for instance in Dundee, mm -hmm. University of Dundee, mm -hmm. people would have flats. So oh. they would have rooms that they've got a key to the door. Otherwise, it would be like a living room and kitchen. That's fancy. So it was like sharing a flat with oh. like it was like sharing a flat with like seven strangers. Yeah. But you've got a key to the you've got a key to your door, mm -hmm. so you can lock your bedroom door. That was yeah, our that's that's that was our senior accommodation. Whereas we had us, a kitchen. So it was like, like, like yeah. Public yeah. any kind of privacy. <laughs> no, our our bathroom was shared between eight people. It's like a public bathroom. Even the showers were like. Showers in a gym. Yes, ours you had no, you had nothing. Well, not I even in realized. cubicles. It was cubicles, but okay. like 
But like it was the one it from was the dirty. top and bottom, so you could see. You, yeah. People yeah. wore flip flops to the to the showers because they were that dirty. They were dirty. Yeah. There was no privacy unless yeah, you wanted to be in your little box of a bedroom. It's pretty rough. Okay, so say you I like want, we're similar, but mm. Oxford say you wanted to bring a girlfriend or boyfriend or potential date home. You just loudly have intercourse with them and make all your other housemates feel uncomfortable, which but is no, what happens. But no roommates. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry, roommates. Yes. You had sex with people. I had, didn't. Not, wait, like you'd have sex with people in the same room as someone else sleeping. In the bunks, yes, it Jesus would happen. Christ. As an RA, I'd have so many issues where people would complain to me and be like, "You need to tell him he's not allowed to have his girlfriend over because he's constantly having loud sex." And oh I was just my like, "God, uh, can I you stop thought banging? it was bad when I could hear people through like the through the ceiling. walls." Yeah. Really I mean, it depends on if you get an inconsiderate flatmate. I, I mean, there were issues where guys, you know, whacking the back end or whatever you want to say. Yeah, know. but if you're sharing a room for a y for a year, yeah, you begin at to... some point. Someone's gonna have to. Yeah, I guess there. Uh, Jesus. Is it male or male? It's male. Yes, yes, yes. It's males okay. only and females only. It's not co-ed. Co co yeah. Yeah. Okay. And that also comes down to the senior rooms. I'm fairly certain on campus. That's just the way it is. Out of curiosity, what items were banned at your accommodation? Like, for instance, ours were Pets. electric heaters. Yeah. Any open fire. But the heating yeah, no didn't candles. work. They did random inspections. Yeah, that's. And if you had uh, a space heater. Or a candle, or anything crazy any, lamps, lava lamps. Yeah, any open flame or anything like mm -hmm. that, you had to hide it. Open flame, oh, pretty much or just not have it. Yeah. So a yeah. scout is a cleaner yeah. that is hired by the college, uh -huh. and each scout will maybe be in charge of one staircase. So that's maybe yeah, twelve sure. rooms. Oh, and depending nice. on the college, so at St John's, she would come in in the mornings and take the bins out. Once mm. a week, she would clean the sink, go over things, like do a Hoover, because mm -hmm. we weren't allowed to have. I Hoover's can't believe you got cleaned for you. Things. That's amazing. Well, it's part of the living in college fee. But okay. the main reason that you can't opt out of it is it's their way of making sure that you're not making absolute bomb sight of your room and that you're not breaking any of the college rules, such as having candles. Oh my God. So we have to clean our own rooms. Yeah, we had to clean our rooms. But also I was the scout of my university. Mm -hmm. That was what the, the RA program was. I got free accommodation in exchange for basically being a narc. So basically a rat. Someone that rats on people. I was basically I the leader. I someone that takes drugs. No, no not someone that- They rat on people that people narcotics. Drugs, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, so I was in charge of 13 rooms and I had to constantly have these, every month I had a thing like, come to the safe sex talk or come no, learn so about that's privacy. Our job of oh D. yeah, so we oh. also that's had a welfare position. Oh. So we had like a student relations person. Yeah. Or a student like a sort of student oh. uh, helper. Well, that, that was you would yeah. get free accommodation for a year. That and you get that. And okay. you get but m I think most of them aren't of students anymore. Well, I no, so, oh, you get so we were seniors. You get to live there for you get all to live the there for graduate free. students that yeah. are taking care of the undergraduate students. The issue that I had with the position was I had to three times a night, which was at 10 p.m midnight and 2 a.m. walk around the entire building two times a week with what? another person to make sure we don't smell weed. If we smell weed, I was genuinely terrified, I'd have to immediately call the head RA guy who would call the cops and there'd be a bust and they'd be arrested. Or if we heard people drinking because there's a lot of dry rooms. You couldn't possibly have alcohol at university. The rule was even in our senior rooms, which are people that are about 20, 21, if one person in the room of four is under 21, no one's allowed alcohol. And if we find it, we have to report it. And they're like written up and possibly expelled. So I would never rat them. I'd come in and be like, I'm gonna come back in five minutes and I hope everything is okay in here. And then I got in big trouble because they started figuring out why is Evan never reporting people? Because it was, I just felt so wrong. We had a warden. We didn't have, oh. so we had a warden that did rat. this. That was like, you know, an adult man, but was and, grown. Yeah. Yeah, and then, or it was porters. a paid position. Yeah. So, That's the title. So posh. <laughs> <laughs> like a, like a so bellman? Our warden. That sort of name, but they are essentially the groundsman, policeman, Hagrid. Every, yeah, of the college. Hagrid they, and they, mixed together. Oh my god, run, that'd be sick. They run the college on a day-to-day -day basis. They know everything about the college, they check security. If there's anything wrong, they're we'll call very the porters. responsible. Okay. Like, if you need to call 999, you will also call the porter so they can liaise with the ambulance. We had multiple. Um, yeah, each college hires, oh, I guess they've got the money. They so how often are these parties shut down? They never shut down. You never have a party shut down? Yeah. We've had to shut down so many parties. It's it, turned down the music. It's yeah, never it's, if someone, stopped. If someone oh, calls the Porter's nice. Lodge and says, the people downstairs are being really noisy. Oh, that's bad. Then they'll come up and say, all right, everyone, can you like keep it down a bit? That's mm. so polite. We were literally like Gestapo. We'd like bust down the door, but like, no more party. But our rooms aren't big enough to have a party in. Ours you can have, either. no, like as in, you can, you can literally fit. Oh. 
eight like people in the room standing. if they were to not move at all. Oh my god. So you, you'd have like three other, three, four other friends in the room at once, and that's, that's a party in the room. And also the porters are in such senior roles, I suppose, and they've been there such a long time that they are allowed to use their discretion. And they do use their discretion. Someone else. I was basically yeah. a mall cop. Paul Blart. I was Paul Blart. <laughs> Imagine Evan riding around on a, a little segue. segue. Hey, do I smell weed? Everyone <laughs> is drunk all the time. All the dinners are so boozy. What? Uh, oh, that's have, just, just so have, weird. Did you have events where you would drink with the teachers? All with the, the time. Kids? What? Yeah. They drink yeah. far more than anybody else. Yeah, what? so <laughs> all over the, like, I think, I think it's all over the UK. <laughs> yeah. That we, that we all have events where what? we get free, we get free booze. Yeah. And the lecturers also drink with us. Yeah. The yeah. way they got students to attend to things, like... We got, yeah, oh, we, ours, ours was with free booze and pizza. Yeah. Ours was free pizza, because I had to host these events, and I'd be like, there's free pizza. And wine. And, and wine. Then, Oh or my Prosecco. god! No, we'd have Pepsi, wine, and beer. I can't. In fact, we'd, I can't imagine drinking. Be on. It would be on campus. So for each kind of department, <laughs> there was like a room for like an, almost a common room for the department. Yeah. Uh -huh. So we'd have yeah. just events in there. Yeah. I, I can remember like, at least and five you in the like, in my the last year. year. So you actually liked your professors because you got to drink with them. Oh yeah, we had as a, adults. we had a leaving party. This so uh, the, big the, the big lecturer. Yeah. What? The big lecturer, Chris Taylorson, left, and he had a leaving party. That even though after I'd left the university. I was invited to go course, to the university yeah. for his leaving party in this kind of like common room. That's yeah. so because nice. Because everyone loved him. Yeah. I was only invited to things at my department because I was in the math team. And so we did math stuff with the professors. You're such a nerd. I thought I was among <laughs> friends. <laughs> you brought in the science team, I assume. Is there There's science? no science I don't team. know what the team is. Do you mean oh. university challenge? No, like, this is definitely going to be something for a separate video because it's an entirely <laughs> huge topic. But the, the basically quick synopsis, subscribe if you want to get to the new one. It's about the only way that people really got alcohol was through fraternities and sororities in the US. And it's not legal, but you'd basically go to these sorority parties and then you'd God, get no the alcohol. God, no wonder everyone, like, you hear yeah, all you these see horrible everyone. stories from fraternities and sororities. Oh, yes. man, I didn't expect this to be as interesting. Like, I was like, <laughs> I don't know, I was, I was excited, but it, geez. The, now you know why when you ask me, you're like, oh, you can talk about English universities. I'm like, yeah, no. And people were like, I'm for Hillary. You're like, no, I'm all about Trinity. Ugh. Tights. <laughs> <laughs> now what? No, I forgot about my sausages. Uh, Did you want to mention that we just been to a pride party and I don't always wear face paint? We've been to a pride party. She doesn't always wear face paint. <laughs> this is Sally's constant look. Yeah, I'm always. This is the ox. This is how you know she's the ox. Yeah. Go to her channel. You'll find out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and learned something. If you did, give it a big old thumb. You can watch some other videos here as well. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. If you guys had a different experience, that's okay. Please tell me. I'd like to hear. We'll have a conversation. Goodbye. It's so hot in this country. Oh my god. I'm dying. We've got so hot the fire. the right temperature.